everybody and welcome to another video uh, on horses. Today we will be going over basic grooming and care of the horses. Uh, I have my friend Askin here and our lovely friend John Wayne and Askin will take it away. Hi, I'm Askin and this is John Wayne, one of our older horses out here at Camp Lakita. So going over the basic parts of the horse, things that you absolutely need to know is we have a head for the holsters. You always need to have a head for the holsters. I'm sorry, but you do. <laughs> and then we have the withers. Up here is the withers. They're connected to the shoulders. We use the withers to find out where to put the saddle. And we'll go over that shortly. Then we have the flank. This is the part where if you touch it the wrong way, they will react to it and kick. We don't want to do that. And then this is the hind quarters. We stand with our hands to it or we stand six feet away from it. Whichever way you feel comfortable with. So, and then we also have the hook. This is a very important part of the horse. Okay. So this is a hook. Got a little clean for you all so you can see it. So right here, this is the triangle that you guys see. This is called the frog. This is where all the blood gets pumped through the foot. If you hit it wrong with what we call a hoof pick, it could hurt the horse. You don't want to do that. So this part of the hoof right here, this is where, this is the nail, basically just the nail. And you're supposed to get the hoof trimmed so that it doesn't get overgrown and it will affect their riding. So the, so basic care of the hoof is basically to uh, clip it uh, when needed and to fix any split hooks and so just thing so that we don't hurt the horse. Hi, my name is Dave and I'm going to be teaching you all how to groom John Wayne. So, our first tool that we use is our curry comb. And we have three different types. So it doesn't really matter which one you use. We have them in buckets. So, I think this, one, this one's the mudding curry comb. This one is apparently our one for winter coats. And then this one we just use if you don't have either one of these. So, but basically when we use our curry comb, we come over to their shoulder and barrel area and we just go in circular motions and you just, it brings up all the extra dirt that's in there. And you want to make sure you get where their girth goes on their saddle. So then after we do our curry comb, we do our hard brush. So and with our hard brush, same area, you do short flicking motions and it brings out more of that dirt. And so after our hard brush, we do our soft brush. Which is basically the same thing as a hard brush. It just gives it a little bit more um, to get the dirt out and it's longer strokes with flicks. So then basically after we do those main parts, if your horse already doesn't have clean hooves because some of them do keep their hooves pretty clean, then we do the hoof pick. And that's basically what we do before we put a saddle on. And if you have extra time, you can either brush the remaining tail out or you can use the face brush. And when you're using the face brush, you only want to do it like, that looks um, you just want to do it like right on the bridge of their nose and on their cheeks, not on their eyes or right on their muzzle. So hi, I'm asking, I'm going to go over the hoof pick and how to clean up the hoof. We clean up the hoof because when they're on that field, they can get, uh, when it's all muddy, and they can get rocks stuck in their hooves. And what that can cause is bruises on the, <laughs> can cause bruises on the bottom of your foot, of the foot, and they can end up limping, and that can just lead to a lot of dangerous things that we don't want to deal with. So we always clean the hooves. So how you do this is, we're going to wait for him to stop walking. We face this way, step over here, 
You bring your hands all the way down and you lift up and we bring it up all the way over here. So you take this and we clean out everything. Now what can I use this one instead? And what we're doing is we're basically cleaning out all the mud. We're also being aware of the frog, which is very important to the horse. Since they uh, pump blood through the hoof, you just clean it out the best you can to make sure that there's no rocks in the hoof. And we're trying to clean it out. What I mean by rocks is I mean pebbles. And thankfully, this uh, Gon Wayne doesn't have any pebbles in his hoof, so that's a good thing. Thank you. All right, and then you just set, set it down. You pat his, uh, his side, saying how good of a job he did. All right, so when it comes to the horses, um, we want to make sure that we are keeping up with their health. And what I mean by that is, if they have any issues, any injuries, typically we want to take it to a licensed veterinarian um, place so that they can uh, provide proper care to the horses. Um, also keep in mind that they do have annual shots that they need to keep up with. So that is something we do uh, for our horses here also. And just in general, it's just a good tip and just um, something that um, will help improve their quality of life. So this here, this tool is also a grooming tool. It's called a sweat scraper. We use it after they've been exercising a lot or after we took them on a ride and they're sweaty underneath their saddle pad or after we give them a bath. It's only to make sure that we get a, the layer of water off the horse so if we don't have them, we don't send them out with an extra layer on them. And so what happens is basically when the water sits on their back, it adds another layer and it makes them overheat. We don't want that. So you never send a wet horse out. You always make sure that you scrape them dry. So how do you use this? So you come to their side, you grab it like this where the curve is like that, and then you just like that. And it does not hurt them at all. You're just flinging all the sweat, all the water off their body. That's how you use a sweat scraper. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you learned a lot about the horses and enjoyed um, watching us be with the horses. Um, special thank you to David Askin for helping us film these videos. Um, be sure to check out our website for any upcoming events that uh, we have on our event calendar. If you have any questions, um, please contact customer care at customer care at girlscouts-swtx.org. Um, and thanks for watching.